we take any arbitrary point after the beginning of life, then we are being partial in how we deal with murder. We are Christians. We come today out of love for our neighbors. Our freeborn neighbors who are being murdered today and for our born neighbors who are coming to join in that killing. One of the things that we are calling for as abolitionists in an abolition bill is for equal protection under the law. Because these children in the womb are already human beings. From the moment of fertilization, a human being has come into being. When the scripture says that, that a woman has conceived, the scripture calls her, and that conceived is fertilization. The Bible says she is with child. These are children in the womb, and we know it. And we look in the law in Exodus 21, we hear about if there is a dispute between two who are fighting and then a woman is involved and, and, and she is with child and she goes into labor. If there is harm done to the mother or to the child, then there are penalties. And, the, and it is an equal justice. It is eye for eye, tooth for tooth, so that the damage is the same whether it's for the mother or for the child. God sees that child as the human being that they really are. And we're committed to love our neighbors as ourselves. And so we are to call for justice for our neighbors. And we can't say, well, it's different because they're younger. Murder is murder, whether the victim is two years old or 20. And it's, this, it's murder is murder, whether the person is six feet tall or four feet tall. If we take any arbitrary point after the beginning of life, then we are being partial in how we deal with murder. And it needs to be equal protection. If there's a school shooting and everyone is reeling over this horrific thing and someone has come into an elementary school and shot up 20 students in 10 minutes and then they're caught and then there's an investigation and the people are hearing the news that this person who came in and destroyed the lives of those 20 students that he was they find out that he was actually hired to kill those children those students by the parents of those students. Let me ask you, how would be the response of the public? Would they be horrified? I'm sure they would be. Would it be just to simply bring a penalty to the one who shot? Or should that also be brought to those who hired the hitman? We should call for equal protection because abortion is murder. And yet we see these children are denied the protection under the law, denied due process, the, the ability to be able to face their accusers. And even when pro-life bills and pro-life laws are violated, the consequences, the penalties are not matching what it would be if the victim was a born human being. In Texas, for instance, the punishment for killing a preborn child in abortion outside of a pro-life law's parameters is less than killing a stray cat in a cruel manner. These things ought not to be. Abortion is the murder of a human being who is just as human as you are. And you and I are to love them as we love ourselves and call for them to have the same protection that we enjoy ourselves. Abortion must be abolished.